Hey guys and welcome back to Three Layers Deep. So as you can see, I'm filming my little small little fall lipstick collection. Or not collection, my little small fall haul. Small fall haul. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, these are lipsticks that I actually picked up in the past couple of weeks and I have been rotating them since I got these. And they're from two different lines. One is from one of my favorite lipstick lines and is the Maybelline Color Sensationals. I love that lipstick brand. Um, it, it, the lipstick just becomes one with your lips. When they fade, when the lipstick fades, it doesn't get patchy or dry, it doesn't crack, it doesn't look crumbly, it doesn't settle like in the, in the fine lines. It's just... a uh, uh, your lips feel moisturized even way after the lipstick has faded. So that's one of my favorite lipstick brands from the drugstore. I found, or I just happened to pick up, which I don't know what the heck was wrong with me. Like, I mean, how long has not has this stupid, not stupid because now I love these, but how long has this line been out for and I just have not bothered with it? A long time. But it's the L'Oreal Color Riche. Uh, collection so the other day I was getting I was getting like prescriptions for my back because my back was jacked up like I was out of commission for like until now still I have been having this energy around a certain time at nighttime then I need to start cleaning like I'll start cleaning up around the house I'll do my dishes like I need everything like spick and span and I'm wondering why do I have all this energy around this certain time oh oh how that hurt around this you know this time at nighttime like every night within the past like week and a half and I realized it's because I have not worked out like I work out every day and it's usually at nighttime I work out at nighttime I'm not a, a person that wakes up early in the morning to work out oh I detest getting early getting up early no no anyway so I was there I was getting some prescriptions filled and uh, while I was waiting I was looking around the lipsticks which let me tell you guys lipsticks are my number one favorite 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 makeup item i have a nice collection of lipsticks i they, it dominates i think i have just as much lipsticks as i have eyeshadows and probably even more possibly i'm not sure but that is just one item that i cannot pass by i have to look at lipsticks and so yes, my love for lipsticks continues to, you know, I have this just burgeoning love for my lipsticks. So yeah, they have a nice place right here in my heart. I have the ugliest hands. Look at that. They are so wrinkly. Like I look at other girls' hands, I'm like, wow, they're so pretty and they look so smooth and like, you know, wrinkle free and like seriously, mine really show. This might not look 32 right here in my face these babies right here look 32 oh i hate them i have to constantly make sure they're moisturized and anyways back to lipsticks whatever whatever jasmine we're not talking about hands so lipsticks anyways so yes i saw one this one lipstick which is volcanic and i'm like wow i have to get that lipstick and it's this one right here bam 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 look at that gorgeous 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 orange color oh my gosh how beautiful is that how beautiful is that it looks gorgeous on its own on its own is i think it's a little bright um but it's actually quite fitting for the season that we're in especially when we're heading into thanksgiving this would be a gorgeous thanksgiving color um you can deepen it with a darker um lip liner or you can brighten it with a lighter lip liner the other day i actually wore it with a um red lip liner from where is this from from Jordana and I like these lip liners but I'm gonna talk about these in another video uh, and this was called Sedona red it looked gorgeous it just really heightened it made it more vibrant um, and it just it really took a life of its own it was so out there and so bold and I wore it with just a very plain and simple eye you can totally change and alter the, the, the shade of your of any lipstick with a totally different um color lip liner you will have a you can have five lip liners and one lipstick and every day will look completely different so um you know 
extend the coll your collection of lip liners because you can do so much to your lipsticks with tons of different lip liners so play around but this is totally to me volcanic is it screams fall and um well into winter this is a color that you can totally use all year round because um during the warmer months you can use it on its own or you can use it with a lighter lip liner that it'll emphasize the brightness of of the color or you can deepen it with a darker lip liner it's totally up to you the next one is the least of my favorites but a shade that i still like and this one's called spiced cider right there and this one is more of a nudie brown color. See how pretty that is? And this this one right here, um, you, again, I'm not even, for the rest of the time being, just know that you can alter the shades of these lipstick with lip liner. I'm just going to say that one last time, okay? No more, because if not, I'll repeat it with every lipstick that I pull up, okay? Um on its own is really really nice it's it's more on a sheer side is not it's not it's not too sheer but it's not opaque it's right in the center so you can definitely build it up or you can just do uh, you know one or two swipes and leave it be the lasting power um, if you have a lip liner under it if you fill your lips in with a lip liner which I tend well I have been doing I wasn't like, I have lip liners, but I don't really use them that much. But since I've been using more bolder colors, I have been just so I can extend the life um, and the longevity of the lipstick throughout the day. So it wears longer. And that has totally been helping. And I just, I love how these lipsticks feel on my lips. So uh, Spice Cider, it has more of that yellow undertone, just as well as Volcanic. Volcanic and um, Spice Cider have yellow undertones. Um... And I just think it's a really nice, it has, I feel like it has a bit, a tiny bit of red undertone as well as yellow. Just a tad bit of red and definitely um, yellow is definitely not a blue undertone. And this one I would probably wear with maybe uh, a more of a smokier eye or more of a done up eye. Um, it is in the brown family so if you ladies are not a fan of browns then you might not like this one. Next one is my favorite out of the three. I love, love, love this color. And I'm actually wearing it right now. But, bam, I'm using it with the red lip liner. And it completely changed the um, color. And I'm just going to move up close. See? And it's this one right here. Which totally does not look like that on my lips right now. Look at how gorgeous it is. It is just a nice mid-tone berry. And... I love this. As you can see with the red lip liner, this is what I have. And on its own, that's what it looks like right there. And it is so, so, so pretty. This has become my favorite. Oh, sorry. All up in the lips. This one has definitely become my favorite. Um, I have been using that. That one I have been using a lot more than the others um, I can't say any more about it but that one right there definitely is very fall inspired to me the next ones the next two are from the color sensational line um, and they are from the, their new shades actually look new shades I don't know if you can read that but there it says new and of course we all like new shades new of anything anything makeup related we know we gotta get so let me wipe these off my hands oh my hands are gonna be red now okay okay the next one is called magnificent mom this is the lightest one out of all the five that i have and this one is definitely a purple a light purple with um pink undertone so it's i think is a perfect hybrid of <coughs> excuse me a pink with some slight purple Okay, how do I... Ugh, okay, that was an awkward place to put it. That's what it looks like. And it is really pretty. Um, on its own, it looks gorgeous. It just... It gives your lips this nice color to that to it and your lips i don't know your face just kind of it makes your face kind of look almost angelic in a way um it looks nice if you have a softer eye 
as well as if you have a more done up eye. So I think this one is pretty versatile. This one's my least worn, but don't get it twisted. I will be rocking this lipstick. Um, so yes, if you are into the pinks and purples, this is a shade that you definitely might want to check out. And I got these two in Walmart, so I don't know how long they're going to be there for. I don't know if they're limited. I don't know, but I'm just glad I got them. The next one is called Blissful Berry, and this is just a nice plum, um, almost a nice plum wine color. And these two are not as opaque, uh, so you can definitely build up the color. I like mine as opaque as I can get them. I'm not too into, I'm not a, a much of a sheer uh, lipstick person because that kind of reminds me too much of like gloss and I'm not a gloss person. If I want lipstick, I want lipstick, darn it. You know, so I want opaqueness. So this is what this one looks like. That's that one right there. And it is just a nicer, it almost looks like Vagabond uh, Mauve, except this one I think is a bit more, uh, has more purple in it. That's what it looks like in the tube. Isn't that gorgeous? So ladies, all these shades, girlfriends, all these shades to me just scream, at least in my book, these five shades I will definitely be wearing a lot during the colder months. Um, I'm obviously because I am a lipstick fiend obviously they're not gonna be my last lipsticks for the for the season but these are the beginning of my lipstick choices <coughs> excuse me for the season uh, I love um, wearing bolder lips during the colder months and frankly I have just been so lazy when it comes to doing up my eyes um, because this is like makeup from about seven in the morning and it is 6 30 something right now so this is all day makeup and uh i kind of want to sleep in in the mornings before i go to work i don't want to have to get up so early to really do up my eyes so lately this is just what i've been doing this is this is kind of like my go-to look not this one in specific um, you know, my eyes still kind of look done up. This still looks pretty. Uh, I don't really mess around too much with um, the, the eyeliner, with like um, gel liner, because that takes me a while too. So I just kind of forego it and I use an eyeshadow, a black eyeshadow, and I kind of smoke it, smoke it out around the lash line. And I just do up my lips, and this has been working because I just look like I've tried really hard to look cute but I actually haven't. But if you're looking for a bolder, you know, go-to fall color, check one of these out and pick up some lip pencils, ladies. Stack up on your lip pencils because you can do so much to your current lipstick. So guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, um, you know, I just, I love getting on here, turning on the camera and speaking to you guys. And I just know that I'm not talking just to a camera. I'm talking to my friends. See? Hug, cyber hug. Come on, cyber hug. <laughs> Ladies, thank you. I love you, and I will see you guys in my next video. God bless you. Bye.